Okay, guys, we are moving further to lesson number two of our Microsoft Excel Computer Practice N4. Right, getting back to our spreadsheet template, as we have indicated from the first lesson that we were more focused on basics. Right now, we proceed to uh, some simple calculations of, of a spreadsheet. Right, let's get back to... The spreadsheet templates that is where we ended with our lesson number one well when you proceed to lesson number two you need to understand the fact that you can edit your spreadsheet in different formats for an example you can add columns you can delete columns you can insert the, the new text delete certain text add the new raw hide columns and so on so there's a lot of editing that you it. Right, for an example, let's say now they have said after number passed, you need to add the new text. For example, the new subtopic now it, it, it's number failed. And let's see. Followed by a pass percentage. and the failed percentage. I hope you still remember how to apply direct text. So because it's already applied here, so you can simply click on it, uh, go to Format Painter and click on it. So you can see now number field is also applied. Well, as I've indicated earlier, you can also insert new columns. Right, in this uh, spreadsheet, we need to add another column next to number root. So the, the, new column, the new column must be added next to this one. That simply means we activate this. It's simple. You right click and insert. So you can see there's a new column now. Right, in this column, we've got number of students absent as you can see I hope you you know how to insert the new column and so on right moving on there is high possibility of formatting your spreadsheet in different formats shortly before you proceed to perform some calculations for an example right here they have said we, we, we need to open a row next to Mzanzi College. And thereafter, we need to add a new text. In order to add the new text, we need to insert another row. Right? This new text will be here. But here they've set another row. For an example, Right, uh, next to analysis of results, they've said here, there must be another blank row. So you simply right click and insert again. So there is a blank row. So there is a blank, there, there is a topic, a blank row above, uh, below. Analysis of results, a blank row below. Please take note that is going to count on your marks. The, the issue of inserting this row Rose, it's important and you'll be notified uh, about this through the manuscript symbols during your spreadsheet assessment. Right, moving further, now I would like to introduce you to a, a simple calculations. For an example, we need to calculate a number of students who, who are absent. Fortunately, you, you, you don't simply guess how to go about with the formula. You, you don't guess how to calculate this. But instead, you will be told how to do it. Example, as we are looking for a number of students uh, absent, you will be told that in order to get them, you need to take a number of registered students minus 
a number of students wrote. So it's going to be equals to register students minus wrote. So that is P6 minus C6. Then you press enter to get an answer. Simple as that. Well, take note. During your assessment, uh, after getting an answer here, there will be a, a, a vertical arrow pointing down. That vertical arrow is part of manuscript sign. It indicates that you need to autofill. What is to autofill? We are circumventing the issue of typing the formula in each and every cell because that is time consuming. So to save time, you simply autofill by putting or pointing right at the right bottom corner of your, your answer or cell and drag down. Simple as that. We are done. So we are moving to the number of students who failed. So how to get, to get that? As I've said earlier, you will be told how to get that answer. It's very, very simple. Right, in order to get the number of students failed, it's gonna be it's gonna be equals to number wrote minus number passed. It's C six minus E six. Enter. So we, we, we need to understand that the spreadsheet is uh, it's capable to see the content of each and every cell. In, in, in other words, in order to get the answer here, you don't type the, 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 the exact value in each and every cell. You can say 2,987 minus 4,110. No, you cannot do that because the spreadsheet is capable to... Uh, to see the content of each and every cell. Once again, we autofill this. Moving further, now we need to get percentage passed. How to do that? You'll be told. It's going to be equals to number of students passed divided by those who wrote. Simple as that. You can also also fill. Percentage failed. So percentage failed is going to be number failed. And also divide by those who wrote. Enter again. It's, it's F6 divided by C6. Auto fill. Right, it's it, it's simple as that. Well, there there is more uh, of, of of formulas that you you will be introduced upon on our next lesson. Right here, this is just lesson number two. Uh, right before we can finalize this lesson, they have said. This is percentage passed and percentage fail. So you'll be required to change this into percentage. Well, according to this spreadsheet, they've said this must be changed into percentage with one decimal. Please have a look. Everything is highlighted. You go to Format Cells dialog box. You choose percentage here with one decimal, then you can see there are two decimals right now. So you reduce to, to one decimal and OK. Simple as that. Well, in connection with uh, this spreadsheet, you will be told to do autofills where required. Fortunately, it's something that you have already done. So you will also be told to adjust your columns uh, in a correct way. Have a look here. 
if I can randomly choose this one, reduce the column size, then you can see series of hashes. Instead of uh, the value, you can see a series of hashes. So if you encounter such spreadsheet error reports, it doesn't mean your formula was incorrect. But this simply indicates that your, your column is too narrow. You need uh, just to simply widen your column just like this. Thank you very much. That is all in connection with lesson number two. Again, let us meet on lesson number three of our spreadsheet.